Yes, what have you found? I do not know. Why did they spare you? Indeed, a Jedi trance could protect one from such poisons. In fact, the sedatives may have been intended to keep you unconscious for some time. It would prove lethal to those untrained in such techniques, however. Most curious. And so do you. Perhaps we could discuss it at length later on. Now we have other concerns, among them finding our new enemy. I have found that answers come in their own time, not ours. Turn your energy to the matter at hand. If we cannot find a way out of here, the answers will prove useless anyway. it was open. Listen up, because I'm not going to say this again. The next one of you Juma heads to try and smuggle a blaster, or so help me, any sort of military-grade frag weapons into my facility is going to take a long walk out the airlock. Why? Because in case you forgot, Paragian fuel explodes at high temperatures. That's what blasted that chunk out of Paragus II and created this asteroid field. So if I catch any of you with anything other than sonic charges or mining lasers, I'll burn you and your contract. Security out. And according to one of the miners, it was because one of the sonic charges went off prematurely. And like before, it was one set by a mining droid. The three idiots were grouped so close to the charge, it might as well have been a grenade going off. The blast turned their bones to dust. The blast wrecked the internal components of the droid that set the charge, though, so we can't even dissect it to see what happened. I don't like what's going on here. Ever since that Jedi showed up, things are getting worse. It's not just Korda and his miners, or the fights, but now the droids are acting crazy. If we don't find what's causing this, or who, this facility's gonna be space dust by the time the next Helos freighter arrives. So, you're in maintenance. 
Then maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I could just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir, these droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Medbay? It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the exchange. So I want you to find out how these droids are being sabotaged. That'll tell me who's trying to clear a path to get that Jedi off the facility and stop him. In the meantime, make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm gonna need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. I installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case someone locks me out of the administration console. As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding cell door. It'll make sure it can only be opened if all droids in the level are shut down. I doubt Corda or any of his men have the skill to pull off something like this, but I'm not taking any chances while we're sitting in the middle of this asteroid minefield. Whoever's responsible won't be able to have the droids rescue him after I lock him up. Nothing will cut through that door. He'll be trapped. I secured the stealth field generator inside one of the foot lockers in the security storage room. If I have the specs right, the interface field should be effective against the droid sensors. All I need to do is equip the belt and some skill with stealth in order to use it. As long as I don't get too close to the droids, they shouldn't detect me. If any more droids start malfunctioning, the belt should buy me enough time to get to the override switch I set up in the communications blister console. I'd rather shut them down than destroy them. I want to find out how these droids are being sabotaged, maybe even turn them against whoever's sabotaging them. Be careful. There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. Can you not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. Cast aside what you see, and instead, reach out with your perceptions. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive. But the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel, echoing outwards. is there. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place.
this door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniforms while I've been in here? Atten. Atten Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. Security claimed I violated some trumped-up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want. But they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the Exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion. I was sitting here for a long time. Then you showed up in your underwear and things got a lot better. Don't know much about it. Maybe the Exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. The Exchange is a big crime outfit, mostly operate out of Nar Shaddaa. Spice running, gun trafficking, slave trading. 
Now I guess they're posting bounties on Jedi. Like I said, I don't know too much about it. Could be something personal, or just business. Either way, there aren't many Jedi left to do anything about it. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. Well, that was the story, but whatever happened there must not have lasted. Oh, there was some big civil war on Korriban. Knocked that academy to the ground. Looks like Revan's Grand Crusade finally consumed her. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. Look, not like your half-naked interrogation isn't a personal fantasy of mine, but... Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? Well, the miners can't all be gone, but if they are... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship and then we fly out of here. Huh? What are you talking about? So you done interrogating me, or are we gonna work together and try to get out of this mess? Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. All right, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated, so it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack, the console's ours. Now, all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! This system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. No. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight, and leave us here. Trapped. I doubt it. All we have is communications back, for all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Found anything? Tracked at the freighter in. Was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical and the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship the Harbinger when it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's gonna mean true. Inventoried the bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid's story. The T3 droid had seized up, so he left it in storage in standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. 
It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition sensors. And to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a... Re Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out and the miners aren't sure what to do with her. Corda's mining crew wanted us to collect the credits for the bounty the Exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will... No word from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow.
So, uh, how long have you been a Jedi? Must be tough, you know. No family, no husband. Hey, I wasn't trying to... Hey, what do you know? A little cargo cylinder came through. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Me? You're the Jedi. If one of us has to go, then it's you. Guardians of peace and justice throughout the galaxy, last I heard. I'll take coward over stupid any day. I'll keep the comm link on just in case he needs some help. Not that I'll come running, mind you.
to hear it. No sense in you running around half naked. It's it's distracting. I mean, for the droids. Look, there may be some survey gear and a safety harness inside the crate, too. The miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. And the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. Yeah, it's like a military-issue energy shield, except it's designed to protect the miners against lasers and heat. It should work against the droid mining lasers. It won't last forever, and certainly not against multiple laser hits. But it may buy you some time if you get ambushed by a battalion of droids. Uh, just one more thing. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals, and if the numbers are right, you're sharing those tunnels with a battalion of mining droids. You could, if you have the skill in a stealth field generator. These droids rely on thermal sensors, primarily to detect fuel deposits. The good thing is, that explosion down there kicked up so much heat and steam it may blind them. A bit, but not much. Well, these are construction models. They shoot like a moisture farmer militia. Since they rely on ranged weapons, get in close with a melee weapon and start bashing them. In close combat, the guy with the vibro blade has the edge over the guy with the rifle, droid or not. Otherwise, just drill them from a distance. If they're not shielded, that is. There's gotta be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence.
Watch out. That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. That steam will cook the skin off your bones. If you can find a mining energy shield, switch it on. It should protect you against the heat if you move quickly enough. Still, it's odd they're still active after the explosion. They 
don't have the same shielding as the mining droids. Be careful of those droids. I don't like this.
had some strange readings. What are you doing down there? The containment fields in the mining tunnels are shutting down. You need to get out of there before they vent fuel to the surface of the asteroid through the tunnels. I may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do down there, make it quick, because where you are is going to get real hot, real soon. Pleasure to see you alive, Master, provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be of assistance? Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were, Master. With the unexpected termination of my previous Master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Answer. The captain of the Harbinger, Master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. Hesitant explanation. That has been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was crudely interrogated concerning our brief history together on board the Harbinger, before its communications, weapons, and engines suffered the cascade failure that disabled the ship. Speculation. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. Clarification. Yes, Master. No doubt the flurry of destruction on board the Harbinger somehow drugged you into a stupor from which you could not awaken. Most curious. Of course. Proud answer. I am an HK series protocol droid master, skilled in transorganic relations and communications. This model has been responsible for the facilitation of communications and termination of hostilities across the galaxy. I am fluent in over 6,000 forms of communication and am also capable of nuances of expression ranging from irony to veiled threats. Of course. Hesitant answer. Ah, a T3 utility droid would be a common sight in this facility. 
It is indeed curious that I have not seen many since my arrival. However, I feel I must inform you that, droid prejudice aside, T3 models exhibit excessive individualism when not routinely memory wiped. This individualism can become such a nuisance that even a droid such as myself is tempted to reduce them to their base comp- But enough of my seemingly irrelevant tangent. Where did you leave the droid, Master? Answer. Ah, then that would explain. Of course, Master. Pitying answer. Oh, that is a... Answer. Only the par- If he hasn't already been murdered in an unfortunate accident, Theory, you could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be ex- Morning, Master, continue- I encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for- Weary resignation. Very well, Master. Correction. Oh, I all... Condescending explanation. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock is voice printed, musing. In the last days of his life, conjecture. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility, he voice locked the droid bay functions. A prudent measure, but in the end, he met the same fate as... Explanation? Yes, Master. Many consoles have voice recognition sensors built into their systems so that only selected individuals can unlock them. Condescending explanation. Oh, yes, Master. The code is Maintenance Control Voice Print ID R1B5. Answer, Master. Of course. Thank you.
answer. I heard his dying Recitation. Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone that... Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning... Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Objection. Master. Proud answer. Master, I believe my vocabulator is working adequately enough to accommodate your request. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself?
finished the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi and med bay? I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. But I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the sonic imprint sensor. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including BASIC. I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused, saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test and see what happens. Thank you. 